Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight at the Gala of Teaching and Learning. My name is Zoe Strobisher, and I am a senior here at Grand Rapids Christian High. Before we begin dinner, I'd like to share a few words of reflection and thankfulness with you about my experience here at Christian High. Starting as a freshman at Grand Rapids Christian, I came out of a small middle school called Dutton Christian, and I didn't know more than five people here, but I was excited for change and something new. My freshman year was the first year the school was under construction, so the entire middle of the school was off limits. Many of us had to go outside for classes and the portables and then the CAW. There were no problems with this in the beginning. It was actually quite nice to be in the warm and the beginning of the year. But then it turned to fall and winter, and it began to start raining buckets and times, and it was one of the worst winters we'd had in a couple of years. I remember I had a world culture class in the portables at one end of the school, and I'd make my way all the way to the band room outside at the other end of the school. On more than one occasion, though, another student, who I would barely know or had met before, or perhaps not, would let, offer to me to share their umbrella with them and would offer to walk me to my class so I wouldn't get soaked. People would give up their coats to others who forgot or would bring extra umbrellas when it was raining. Immediately, I noticed the atmosphere of care and support that the students had for each other. I've also had the privilege of being on the improv team here for two years, and this year I get to be one of the captains. Now, improv, for those of you who don't know, is a comedic series of skits and plays that we make up on the spot. However, when we're doing a show, we aren't thinking, how can I be the funniest or how can I make everyone laugh? Instead, we're thinking, how can I make my teammate better? Support, positivity, and encouragement are the three most key elements of improv. It builds a non-judgmental atmosphere where people can be free to be themselves and try new things. But this attitude doesn't just stay in improv. It's evident all around our school. Several years ago, when I was a freshman, Mr. Koning, an English teacher here, gave a speech at the Academic Awards Night. Ironically, though, his speech encouraged us to try something we might fail at. Grand Rapids Christian is the perfect environment to try this out because of its supportive and judgment-free environment. I've had the confidence to try new things such as cross-country and theater, ski team, and equestrian. With, with Winterham, I've been able to take physical comedy classes and gone to England and Ireland. I've done an internship in the public health department in Seattle, Washington. And this year, I'll be going on a mission trip to Jamaica with the school. Because of the support from you and many other donors of Grand Rapids Christian, this school has given me and many other students not only the opportunity to explore and learn these one, from these once-in-a-lifetime experiences, but also to learn from them a strong Christian point of view. This isn't just outside of the class, but it's evident inside the classroom as well. Teachers are so passionate for Christian education. It's not hard to see. The teachers love their job, the students, and show this openly. I will mention that earlier today at break, some friends and I were playing a game of ninja and Dr. Morris couldn't help but join in. I have many strong connections that go beyond the classroom with the teachers in my high school that I never anticipated. Currently, I'm taking a C.S. Lewis class where we study Lewis's various works. This class doesn't just analyze Lewis's works, though. But our teacher, Mrs. Knoll, encourages us to look deeper inside of ourselves and find who we are. We find our strengths and our weaknesses, where we're susceptible to evil, but where we can find God working in us. I'm learning to know myself better because of this class and learning how I can become a positive force in God's kingdom. Grand Rapids Christian has shaped who I am, and I'm grateful for it. God is found all around in its academics, its opportunities, its teachers, and its students. Thank you for supporting this good work that God has started, and I pray that it continues to shape and form its students, staff, and families so that they can become brothers and sisters after God's heart. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, I thank you for this school. I thank you for the teachers and the staff and the parents and the students and everything that you've given to make this complete. I pray that you continue in its work and that many people can be shaped and formed beyond what they ever imagined. I pray that you lead its leaders to be strong after your heart and that you can have them discern your will. In your name we pray, amen.